Good. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the to the press conference on signing day. You know, this is like uh, New Year's Day for football coaches and Christmas all rolled up into one. We've got 12 great presents today that I'll talk to you about in a couple of minutes. But uh, you know, for us, this is the end of the year. This is the conclusion of the the one the cycle, the annual cycle for uh, Bobcat football, and then we start tomorrow on next year. And it goes around from here. So it's a day of celebration, a day of excitement. I just want to do a few introductions quickly here before I get started. And the, the, actually, the first one is was a surprise to me, but I'm so happy to see him. I'm going to start right away. Connor, first one, where are you at, Connor? Come on up here. Where did he go? Connor is back here. Uh, he's been having some health problems. And he had to uh, drop out of school here this semester. But he, Connor does all those great videos for us and just surprised me by walking in. Today he's going to be here for two or three days. And, just since we have a crowd here, you've all watched his stuff on oh, yeah. all the videos. Let's just tell Connor how much we appreciate You do a great job for us. Um, let me also introduce the coaches here real quick. And Noah, uh, if you just step up here also to begin with. Noah Joseph is our recruiting coordinator. And the, everything you're seeing on this page uh, comes from the organization that, that he puts into the program for us. He also recruits Southern California, but you know, without his constant uh, effort and his constant haranguing of our staff all year long about the importance of recruiting, we would never be able to sign a class of this quality. So just starting with him, let's, uh, let's give Noah a thanks. So the rest of the coaches are all here. Just uh, kind of step up here, man. I'll introduce everybody, and then we can just give them one round of applause. So Eric Link is here. He recruited Western Montana, did a great job there for us. Jamie Marshall, defensive coordinator, Colorado. Uh, let's see, uh, Brian Von Bergen, wide receivers coach. He recruited uh, out in Seattle. Uh, Brandon North, uh, defensive backs, recruited down in Texas for us. Coach McIndoo, O-line, recruited both uh, Oregon and also eastern Montana and central Montana. And uh, Coach Beck, Bo Beck, defensive line, also recruited down in Texas. And Kane Ione, our linebackers coach, recruiting in California. So these guys did a fabulous job, so let's give them a round of applause. Very challenging recruiting year. We only lost 10 seniors, and uh, we didn't have, uh, you know, we really haven't been losing a lot of guys to either academic problems or disciplinary problems and, or attrition, and so we don't have a lot of spots available on the, on this for the squad this year. So we had to be very selective, and we had to be selective after <coughs> having a championship season and a quarterfinal playoff appearance on TV. So we had a lot of interest and a lot of. A desire from a lot of people's parts to be Bobcats and to and be uh, exposed to our program and we only had about 10 or 10 scholarships about 10 or 12 spots to be available so that made it a very challenging recruiting year but I, I, I really believe we put together a great class even though it's small in numbers that's a very strong class in quality and these guys as I'm going to tell you here in just a second they're going to be not only able to help us win games but also they'll be excellent representatives of our program like we expect from them both in the classroom and in the community as well as on the field. But here's, uh, before we take a look at the class, I want to give you the most amazing statistic of this recruiting year, which is this, that we only had 15 official visits on campus this year for scholarship guys. That's all the guys we brought on campus, just 15. And one of those guys we ended up not offering, so there were really only 14 guys that we wanted to have come to the program, and 12 of them signed with us. Wow. That's an unbelievable conversion rate over this yeah. the course of this uh, recruiting year. And that's the most amazing statistic about the class. And, and one of those two that did not come actually committed to us uh, yeah. a few days before he changed his mind. And the other one was ready to commit and then got an offer in his home state. He was an out-of-state guy uh, at a at a SEC school. So we were a pretty tough company on the two we didn't get. But 12 out of 14 is an incredible situation. And it, and it, and it really goes back to the efforts not only of our coaches to bring the right guys on campus, but our players who actually recruit these guys. You know, we joke about the fact that we bring them on campus, give them all the programs, all the meetings, all the you know, highlight films, all the discussion, and then we let them go out for a few hours with our players so they can decide where they're going to go to college. Right? Because it's, that's what they base it on. And our players did a great job. Um, I also want to make note here before I forget that next week, we are the, the, all the guys we're announcing today are scholarship guys. Uh, what next week we're going to announce a small group of four to six walk-ons that are preferred walk-ons that will be guys that will be in our 95, that will be guys that will be uh, every bit as legitimate uh, members of our team as anybody else 
guys who we hope are the next Bobby Daly or Alexi Grosselak or the next Sean Sampson or Caleb Schreibice that walked onto our team and now have full rides and our starters on our football team. So we'll announce those guys next week. So a couple of quick things about this class. First of all, the geography is very interesting. We have three from Montana, three from California, two from Texas, two from Nevada, and one from the great state of Iowa. So we uh, you know, had a good diversity in that class. And some of you may, think, may say, well, just three from Montana, but you've got to think about the fact that we only had 12 spots here. Okay? And it's highly, highly competitive when you only have 12 spots. We didn't have extra money. We didn't have double up where we could double up at spots. And so the three Montana guys we got had to earn those spots in very tough competition. And, um, you know, the guys that, that uh, the, the quality of the class overall was very, very um, outstanding. So that's why uh, the Montana number made it look a little bit smaller. Uh, as far as high schools versus transfers, you know that our philosophy is to recruit high school players first. And so 11 of the 12 guys that we're announcing today are high school guys. So we're matching our philosophy there. The one transfer is a kicker who's already enrolled in school and is here. He'll be here for spring football. As far as positions go, it basically was look, we were looking for just one guy at each position primarily, except in the offensive line where we were able to sign three. And then at quarterback, we signed two. But on the defensive side, for example, we had a, a tackle, an end, a linebacker, and a defensive back. Okay, so just one at various positions like that. It was kind of an interesting uh, note about this class, again, because of our small numbers. Academically, this is a very good group. Out of the 12 signees, 11 of those 12 have GPAs, cumulative GPAs from their high school of 3.0 or better. Okay, 11 out of the 12. The average GPA for these 12 guys is a 3.3. Average SAT for the guys who took it is over 1,000. The average ACT for those who took it is over 24. All right? So these guys are great students, and they're in a variety of good majors from education and business to engineering and pre-med.